Ever wondered why blue LEDs were so hard to create, while red and green LEDs lit up the world? It's not just about color, it's about science pushing the limits. Let's dive into why blue LEDs were a game changer. Before going to that, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, work when electrons in a semiconductor drop into holes, releasing energy as light. The color depends on the semiconductor's band gap, the energy needed for electrons to jump from the valence band to the conduction band. Red and green LEDs, made from materials like gallium arsenide, have smaller band gaps, around 1.8 to 2.2 electron volts, making them easier to produce since the 1960s. Blue LEDs, however, need a larger band gap, around 2.7 electron volts, to emit high-energy blue light. This required materials like gallium nitride, which was notoriously hard to work with. Why? Gallium nitride crystals were riddled with defects, making them inefficient, and creating a P-type version, essential for LED function, was a massive challenge due to hydrogen interference blocking positive holes. Most researchers gave up, focusing on zinc selenide instead, but it still couldn't reliably form P-type material. Enter Shuji Nakamura in the 1980s. He chose gallium nitride despite its flaws and innovated a two-flow MOCVD reactor to grow near-perfect crystals. By heating magnesium-doped gallium nitride to 400 degrees, he cracked the P-type puzzle, creating a functional blue LED by 1992. But it wasn't easy. His early prototypes were dim, producing just 42 microwatts. Through relentless tweaks, like adding an indium gallium nitride layer and an aluminum gallium nitride barrier to stop electron leakage, Nakamura achieved a bright 1,500 microwatt blue LED by 1994, revolutionizing lighting. Blue LEDs were tough because they demanded perfect crystals and a tricky P-type material, but Nakamura's breakthroughs made them possible, paving the way for white LEDs and energy-saving lighting. Today, LEDs dominate, cutting carbon emissions and powering tech like never before. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.